Um, so first of all, crayon physics, how did you come up with the concept? Oh, um, it started out as a small prototype I made, like in five days. I started planning it that I had this idea that maybe if you could draw stuff with crayons and they would have physical objects, maybe I could find some cool gameplay out of it. Then I made a five-day prototype called Crayon Physics and it got way too popular, so I had to like do a bigger version out of it. Were you prepared that, that it'd be that popular? No, I was like I was actually still like going to school at the moment, and uh, when I released the game, it was like the beginning of the summer break. So I was thinking that like, I would do this whole game during the summer break, and that didn't work out. So I was like, I'm gonna take a small break from school, like six months, and I'm gonna finish the game. And that didn't work out, so I had to take another six month break, and that didn't work out. So the end result is that Crayon Physics Deluxe totally fucked up my education. So. Uh, but how is it uh, to, to work completely alone on a project that, that turned out as big as Crayon Physics did? Oh, it was, um, it was kind of daunting in a way. I had some trouble finding motivations for to do the stuff. I had a friend of mine who helped me at the end for a few months doing some graphic stuff. And then the music was made from, for, by various different people. So, uh, But working alone on a game, it's... Uh, it's kind of daunting task to do. How's the end of scene in general? Is, is it a tight net? You, you mentioned before when we were talking, you were talking about some other guys here that, that uh, make cool games. Do you, do, you, do you guys know each other, more or less? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty... We know pretty much each other pretty well. So it's, uh, it's a lot of indie developers in Sweden and we kind of came here for the Copenhagen so we can meet basically each other because we don't get to see each other that often. So, Any particular group or uh, game you'd like to, to mention? Oh, there's, uh, well, Cactus is here and he's made some totally awesome games. Uh, Je Jesse Vernbrox is here who made Kiroshi. Uh, Gian Pasiri is here who made You Have to Burn the Rope. Uh, Eric Sverding who made Blueberry Garden which won IGF Grand Prize last year is here as well. Have you ever done anything like this? Uh, made a game in 48 hours? Oh yeah, I was here last year and I made a game uh, on... We, end, we tried to make a game, bigger game. We had this idea for... Well, there was three of us. It was me, Cactus and Heto Kelly and we tried to do a game all together for, for the team and it was like this bigger, more ambitious project. And we spent all Saturday trying to get it working and it was like Saturday night, we were like, screw it, let's just drink beer. And then on Sunday morning, like four hours before the deadline, Cactus was like, okay, I could make this by myself. And he made the game by himself. And I was like, I have nothing to do, so I made my own game during those four hours. So I made a game called Four Minutes and 33 Seconds of Uniqueness. That won the Innovation Award last year and his game won the best visuals last year. So it turned out pretty well. Uh, any new project that you're working on? I'm actually doing a smallish iPhone game at the moment. Just to mainly, the basic idea is just to get something done and just get to the smaller game that I think. It's, I think it's going to be a cool game for the iPhone as a platform. I don't think the game would actually work on any other platform. For, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. How is it working on the iPhone compared to the PC? Uh, it's it's not that different. You have some restrictions. Uh, mostly the bigger problem is trying to come up with uh, how to go around the restrictions of the device because it doesn't have a keyboard or a mouse. So you have to like try to figure out how to use the touch interface. And so it's not. It's more uh, a design challenge than a technical challenge. For you. So I have to ask about the iPad. Do you see any possibility of the iPad? Uh, I don't know. I think the iPad might be a uh, miss for the Apple. Like I don't, I don't really see why I would get one, but I can kind of see that some people might get excited about it. Uh, we hear uh, strange rumors about your socks. Can you, can, can you show us your feet? Yeah, it's, it's, it's true. I, I wear uh, different colored socks every time. All the time? Yes, all the time. Is there any particular reason why you do that? Uh, it's my small rebellion against the system. Fair enough. <laughs> Stick it to the man. <laughs> yes. That's the indie way you do it. It's wear different car socks.